And right now, there's a police car just driving by here. And we said, what is that guy doing? Okay. He went by me. Okay, good. Next. Right here, underneath here, is your large intestine. Which means we had some guy came to me with Epstein-Barr. Uh, he went to the major hospital. He went to, I don't want to mention any names. He went to a major hospital in Philadelphia. They could do nothing for him. He was a top doctor in mainline. They could do nothing for him. He came to me in 15 minutes. I knew exactly what to do. He kept on doing this all the time. I looked at him. He looked at me. I said, you're doing this. He said, I do that all the time. What he's doing is this is your stomach. This is your small intestine. He was trying to get the, the fat from the meat, fat from the fish out of his system. I told him to give up fat, give up meat, give up fish, and see what happens. He gave it up, gets what happens, that team bar. It got better. It happens all the time. Our body doesn't lie. Everything about it tells us exactly who we're doing. We had a girl one time came, came to me and did this. I was on her case. <laughs> this is a large intestine. Then she did this. I nailed it. Large intestine. She wasn't having bowel movements <laughs> all the time. Next, that's your chin area. What I do is you have pimples on your chin, it means poor digestion. Next, this is for people with uh, um, double chins. There's a bone right behind it. Rub that. And that help get rid of the, the, the double chins. Next, the neck. Keep everything smooth. Double neck, shoulders. I do this on a, pretty much on a daily basis. Back and forth, back and forth. Next, the arms. Wrist area. Wrist area deals with kidneys. You have wrist deal with kidneys, ankles deal with kidneys, low back deals with kidneys, hair loss deals with kidneys. Kidneys deal with processing the food, trying to eliminate the food, trying to get everything clean. As soon as we cook a food above 105 degrees, our kidney goes on full scale alert. As soon as we cook a food above 105 degrees, our liver goes on full scale alert, trying to neutralize it. Keep in mind, it goes from the stomach. Then, get, then goes to, the food goes from the stomach, then to the small intestine, then to the liver. If the liver tries to break it down, we have 75 trillion cells working together in unison. They never ever make a mistake. And our blood level has to be 7.4 at always, always 7.4. Otherwise, we die. I have a book up there that explains that. And so, the body, if the liver cannot break it down and neutralize it, it has a symbiotic relationship with the cells. You know what it does? It says, says to the cells, I cannot break the food down, take some of this waste off my back. And what happens is the cells take it off their back. If they can't break it down, they store it around each cell. That, my friend, is called fat. You walk down any street, any street in America today, 60% of the people are overweight. I mean, it boggles my mind that people can barely walk, let alone run, when they go someplace. They can't run up the steps. Six years old, you should be running. Six years old, you should be rocking. Six years old, you should be dancing all night long. You should, be in, should not be on medication. In, no way for, you should be on medication. Medicine, the basic assumption is that medicine will help me. And I'm saying the basic assumption is, how does the medicine know where to go? You got 98,000 miles of arteries. How does the medicine know where to go? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You go to the doctor and he gives you meds. And the basic assumption is the meds don't know what to do. As I mentioned before, in order for the, for the body to accept anything, anything has to be living and alive. Living and alive. Cells do not accept dead food. To accept food, has, to accept any food, nine requirements. Medicine has none of the nine. These vitamins, minerals, enzymes, fiber, essential fatty acids, water, glucose, protein. Now I always forget the ninth one. Anyway, that's, that, that, that is medicine. Uh, okay, so I did both arms. I do my right hand over my left shoulder, my, my left hand over my right shoulder, and I work way down. Next, you want to get all the toxins out from the day before, all of them out. Keep in mind, each finger means something. Every finger means something. Someone does this, I'm on their case. Someone does this, I'm on their case. Someone does this, I'm on their case. Every finger means something. The body doesn't make mistakes. Never, ever, ever, ever makes a mistake. I have to slow down, but... <laughs> Ready? This, this is your lung. Large intestine. This is your, uh, let's see, this is your heart pericardium. People do this all the time. This is protecting your heart. Your pericardium protects your heart. This is your triple heater. This deals with, uh, I guess, relationships. The, the, the um, symbiotic relationship between digestion, respiration, and inhalation. 
So this this way, if you say if, uh, have trouble in your life, this helps uh, get everything squared away. This finger gives me heart and small intestine, right here. Two people are driving by and say, what is that guy doing? Anyway, do this side, the same thing. Do this, and pay all the tuck down. That's my first part. First part is get up in the morning, and generally before I go to bed, I shoot for not eat, last meal is about 8 o'clock, 8.39. I don't eat until 10 o'clock the next day. That's 12 hours of body rest. Seven stages for, to completely heal yourself. Seven stages. Love. I gave myself a massage in the morning. I love myself. Exercise. Exercise in the morning. Third part. Fasted. Every day I shoot for fasting 12 hours. And this, my friends, is the key to treat any disease has to be based on these theories. If these theories don't work, nothing, there's nothing that will help you. No vitamin, no pill, no medication, no surgery. I mean, I don't know about surgery. It all depends on if you have a broken arm. But uh, uh, just in, like heart attacks, cancer, yeah, I always have to go back to the basics. When I don't eat for 12 hours, that means my body, not using any, any energy on digestive energy, will go to any area that, that bothers, any area of the body that bothers you and start to heal it. Okay, that's my first part.